thousand Vadasas people. Although your initial freshman experiences on campus are going to be a little different this year, we still want you to work hard and do your best to rep our school. You will learn that throughout high school, being an Eagle is more than going to Southwest and just wearing a purple coat. It's working hard, inspiring your friends and family around you, and doing the best that you can no matter what. I understand that staying motivated can be difficult during these trying times. However, we must stay positive. Now the ASB Council will give you some tips and tricks on how to stay motivated and focused throughout your school year. Using self, sleep, exercise, learn, and focus. Be by your side. Hi class of 2024, a tip from your ASB to you is to always make sure to have a healthy sleep schedule. I know it can be hard sometimes when you have lots of assignments to do, but try to finish them as early as you can or try to do them in advance so that way you don't stay up too late trying to finish them. This can help you not become very tired or fatigued throughout the day. Remember, a good sleep can help you keep you energized for the whole day. What's up class of 2024? Exercise is important during these times. Get some fresh air, sunshine, and stay active. Going outside, exercising, walking your pets, or even walking around your house can help you wake up during the day. Try opening your window while you're in class or doing homework. Of course, making sure to follow any CDC guidelines if you're heading outdoors. Hey, the next letter is the L in self. The L stands for learn. Um, before class starts, make sure you put your phone somewhere where you can't reach it or see it. This helps refrain from scrolling through social media and helps you focus on what's being taught. Make sure to pay attention to your teachers and learn what they are lecturing. Stay safe, Eagles! Hey class of 2024, this is Melissa. Um, here are a few ways in which you can stay focused during these times. Get out of bed and change out of your pajamas. Staying in bed might make you more tired since this is where you were asleep, but finding a comfortable spot other than your bed to do your homework and attend your online classes. Um, keep your desk space clean. This can make everything much easier and it's gonna keep you way more motivated than you have everything cluttered up in your desk. You can also make a to-do list for the day or the week in which you write down your plans, all your assignments, quizzes, tests, anything you have, and this will give you a motivation to you to for you to finish. Thank you. Welcome to Southwest High School class of 2024. I am Mrs. Niebla and I am your freshman class advisor. I want to encourage you all to try to stay positive and motivated in school. I want to be back on campus to meet all of you freshmen and I'm sure you all want to be back on campus to be with your friends. But right now we all know that we can't. So we all need to do our part to stay safe. Stay motivated in your classes because your freshman year counts. You don't want to be behind in your upper classes when you become sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So remember to do your work, stay positive, get involved with your class as we will have some functions coming up hopefully soon. But again, try your best and stay positive. I hope to meet you all soon and go Eagles class of 2024. Hello to my baby eagles. My name is Ani Ariza and I am the senior class president as well as the school board representative. I'm here to talk to you about some of the ways I stay motivated during these trying times. One way I keep myself motivated is by envisioning my future. I plan to apply to some very rigorous colleges and I just want my senior year and all my years to reflect something that was worthwhile. Another way I try to keep myself motivated is through the support of my family and of course my dog. He kind of really helps my mood be up all the time and that really helps keep me going. Another thing that really helps me keep motivated is to engage in a lot of activities within the community and in school. Um, I volunteer or I do other pieces of work and that really um, helps keep me going. So now I'd like to share with you a freshman experience I had um, that perhaps you guys won't be able to have but it's something to look forward to. I joined a lot of clubs and um, I played some sports my freshman year and that really helped establish me um, as a member of the Southwest community and I encourage you guys to do the same. Um, being able to socialize through clubs and 
especially through sports, really sets the tone for the rest of your high school experience. So remember, Eagles, even though it may be hard now, it's not always going to be this way. Go, Eagles! Hello, Eagles. My name is Elizabeth Hernandez, and I'm vice president in the freshman 2024 student office. First of all, I just want to say that I am very proud of all of you for your hard work that you're putting in online learning. I just want to share a little speech that my coach used to tell me for encouragement that keep pushing, especially in the final round, in the final lap, because, well, in the end, you can finally take a break because it'll all be worth it. With that, I want to conclude that keep working hard. You guys got this. We're almost out of break in school, we're almost going to go to break and you guys can finally de-stress yourself in that time. So please, before we get there, keep pushing yourself and don't give up. Please raise your grades because your future depends on this. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Hi, my name is Oriana Rosales and I'm your freshman class treasurer. I know it's been hard during these troubling and certain times. Trust me, I want to go back to school already like most of you probably do. It's been hard for some people to adapt to a new routine. Your grades may be slipping. You're even having to adapt to a new certain way of learning, a new digital way of learning. And if you haven't adapted yet, your grades may be slipping. And if so, don't worry, it's not too late to start working on your grades. If you start working on your grades now, they will be excellent by the time the semester report cards come out. I also want to offer you a quote. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams by Eleanor Roosevelt. Everybody has dreams and goals they want to achieve. Those goals and dreams don't just come to you, you gotta work hard towards them. If you work hard and believe enough in your dreams, you may achieve them. I also want to offer you a tip on how I get through doing my homework. For me, it helps to focus on one assignment at a time. When I think about all the assignments that I have to do, it just overwhelms me and I don't want to do them. But when I do one at a time, it feels like I finish them faster and it's not as hard. I want to do the homework more if I focus on it one at a time. I really hope that you start thinking about how you want your grades to be and that you start working on your grades now and work hard towards them so you can better yourself. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay engaged. Stay safe. And most importantly, let's make this year a great year, Eagle Country. Asking, are you a boy again? And if you're feeling